In this video, we're going to look at selecting things in visual analysis. Because visual analysis was written entirely for Windows, selection follows basic Windows rules. For example, if we look at the Find tool here at the bottom of the screen, if I click on an item in the tool, you'll see it gets selected. If I hold down my control key, I can add to that selection. So the control key allows adding to a selection. Similarly, if I click an item, hold down my shift key and click another item farther down the list, it will select everything between that group and I could hold my control key and say subtract from that group. So group selection follows the standard Windows behavior using the control and shift keys. Let's look at the graphics for a moment. In this model, we have a frame with plate elements for shear walls, some areas representing the floor diaphragm, and of course beams and lots of nodes. Show, following the same Windows procedure, if I hold down my control key and kick on, click on a plate element, it will get selected. Holding down my control key and continuing to select, I add to that group. When I select outside with nothing um, or click outside with nothing selected, everything will become unselected. Now, if I hold down my shift key and say click on one plate, all of the plates will get selected. Or if I hold down my shift key and click on a member, all of the members will get selected. So shift and control works in the graphics view, just as it does in a text type report. Another way to select in the graphics view is to drag a box. If I hold down the shift key and then drag the mouse by holding the right mouse button down, you'll see a box is created. When I'm dragging this box from left to right, as I'm doing now, anything that's totally contained in the box will get selected. As you can see, just certain quantities that were totally contained were selected. A different behavior happens if I start over here on the right and now drag my box from right to left. Now, everything inside the box plus anything that might be crossing one of the boundaries of the box will get selected. If you take a look at the beam on the top of the frame, you'll see that anything that was crossing the box got selected as well. So the shift key dragging left versus right has a totally different behavior. Last thing I would like to show is how the Windows clipboard works for copying and pasting. I have a member load that I'm going to select and it becomes highlighted as you can see. Now I'm going to use the quick keyboard action of control C. That is the same as actually selecting the copy command from the ribbon up here at the top. So control C copies. Now if I unselect that and select a couple of members, let's say select these two members. Now I do a control V, which is the same as paste a dialog will come up which will default to copying the loads to other objects and I'll just hit the generate copies button and see I've copied that one load to other objects. So control C, control V, the clipboard allows copying and pasting of objects. This works for loads, it works for members, plates, and, and areas.